Today I'm going to be doing another Cricut video for you and I thought I would film four easy crafts with the Cricut Joy. So I'm going to be doing four different tutorials in this video, perfect for beginners. If you have just purchased a Cricut Joy then this is going to be a great video for you to get started. So I've already done a getting started video with the Cricut Joy showing how it works so if you'd like to see that first then the, that will be linked below. I'm going to be using a selection of materials that the Joy can cut or write etc and yeah it's going to be so much fun. If you're new to my channel then make sure to hit the subscribe button and maybe the notification bell in case you want to see my future videos and give this video a thumbs up and we're going to get straight on into it because there's four different crafts to do in this video. Thanks to the power of technology I've set up two cameras so I'm going to be talking to you guys as well as a little top camera which I'm going to be showing you now. Hello top camera! And so this is all the materials that we're going to need. We have got the Cricut Joy here, plugged in and ready. We're going to be using my mobile phone for connecting up with the Joy and the Cricut Design Space app. A pen, a weeding tool and a pair of scissors. And then our project. So I've laid them out just to kind of see what we need. I'm going to start on the card because the card map and the cards are so easy to do and so much fun. It just makes making personalised cards so much fun. And I'm going to start with that one, really simple to do. What I'm going to do is set it up on my phone and on my Bluetooth, I'll show you on here, you'll see that the Cricut Joy is there. So I'm just going to click on the Joy. And now I'm on my Cricut Design Space app. So for this card, I'm going to see what existing projects are already on there. Because I want them to be super easy, I want to show you that you can do this as well. So when you go on your Cricut Design Space app, you'll have a search bar at the top. And I just want to search in there some Joy cards. So what's amazing about Cricut Design Space is there's lots of projects already on there. Some of them may require a little extra fee, or you can sign up and pay monthly on Cricut Design Space for all access to materials and things like that. So that's what I've got. So I'm going to search through and have a look. So I quite like this little design with the teacup on it, I think that's really sweet. So for this design it's saying to use the fine point pen and in black, so that's what I'm going to use. So all we need to do is press make it and it's saying to set up your design on the map like this. So we just want to put, yeah, on a card map that's right, everything's already set up so we just need to set up the map now. This is super easy to do, all you need to do is slip the card inside like that. And like all other Cricut mats, it's got a slight stickiness to it. So you just want to fold that back over and smooth it on nice and flat like this. So it's telling us to load the pen tool first. So that's what I'm going to do. Open the casing up like that. Pop your pen in. And just shut that up like that as well. Okay, and then because it's already flushing, you don't have to press anything. You can just load it up. Once that's recognised the material, you can just press go and it will start drawing. You will take your little blade, pop that in the housing because it's now telling us to put that in. Once your blade is in, you can press go and that will start to cut the areas that need to be. It's so quick you guys, it takes about a minute to make a card. So once your item is out guys, you just want to take it off the mat delicately. So what we're going to do is just go on one corner and slowly start to lift that up. So there we go, there is your beautiful card. So I have chosen the gold insert and all you do is you open up the card like that and you pop your insert in those little cut out corners and it holds it in place and there you have it, there's your finished card, it's super simple to do and I just think that looks so sweet and I, I just can't wait to write a little note in it for my mum or something like that and send it to her in the post very very simple design but look how easy it is to make something really really sweet next up guys I'm going to be doing my little sewing plan notebook so for this I'm going to have to design my own design and what that requires is just making sure we know the measurement of this width and I will make sewing plans 
the text ready to cut and then when it comes to placing it on the mat I'll just make sure I move it where I want it to be placed. What you want to do is just l measure that up on your book like this on the grid. So the grid is on the back of it and once you've measured it up to see where you need to cut just mark that with a little pen like this and then we can just cut that off. Keep little pieces of scrap because you can use this again in the future for other things. So for this material you want to use a light grip mat and then we're going to stick our little bit of material on the edge there. Right. Make sure that's as straight as possible. You want to create a new project. So I'm going to choose some text. I'm going to keep this one really, really simple in terms of design because I want the floral background to do all of the talking. So let me just turn this around so you can see. So you can see on here it's four and a half inches wide. So what we're going to do is make sure our design is four and a half inches wide. So we want it about four inches like that. We just want to put actions, wield, and that just makes it one area make it so we're gonna put it's on a mat so make sure you say material size and the material is on a 4.5 by 12 mat so we've done that click back on there then we want to move this down to just above the 8 on there Cute. So this is what it should look like and then we're just going to press continue and then we need to select material so we need to look for adhesive backed paper so go on all materials so we've selected our material it's a deluxe paper adhesive backed and this is just going to test the material to make sure it's long enough and once it is it will say that we can go so we can press the go button. Go! And that will start to cut. So when you're done it will look like this. And then we just want to peel the mat away from the material. Now that's done, we want to take away this adhesive side of the material. We want to do this really carefully so we don't damage the front because obviously we're keeping the entire piece. Okay, so I've just started with a little corner like this. I can just peel that off. Ta-da! Great, so when it comes to sticking it on, it's just so you just want to line it up where you think it looks central. Stick that top bit down. Slowly with your fingertips, just come downwards with it. And there we have it. We have our sewing plans notebook. Looks so cute. I absolutely love this design. I feel like it's really nice that we've let this sort of do the talking in the design and then we've got our really simple text at the bottom. Really, really cute, really, really simple and easy to do. Next up, you guys, I'm going to be doing my mugs. I thought it would be really cute to add a kind of spring botanical on there, like a little shape, just keep it really simple, but I thought that would be quite nice for spring. So I've got my Smart Vinyl in white, some transfer tape, and because this is a Smart Vinyl, we don't need any cutting mat for this one. It just goes straight into the joy and cuts, and we don't have the fuss of adding a mat for this make so it makes it really really easy to do. So for this one I'm just going to go on to image and then we're going to search for an image of some botanical shapes. So I've just clicked on images and we're going to search for a nice botanical leaf shape to cut for our mugs. So I've chosen a few that I like I'm just going to click the little tick button. Cute! So I'm just going to resize these to the size that I want them. Let's wield them all together amazing so we've got our design and then we're going to press make it and then this is without matte it's a smart vinyl so smart vinyl so all we have to do get your vinyl okay. 
And once that nose has got enough material, we can press go. Okay, so we can unload. The leaves are cut on there, so I'm just gonna cut that off. And then we can go again with the next one. What you wanna do is cut around your shapes like this. And then you don't even need your weeding tool for this one. You can just take a bit of your vinyl off the edge there and peel away. We have our two leaf designs. They're quite hard to see because they're white. But what we need to do now is get our transfer tape. And this just lifts the vinyl off this backing so then we can then put it onto the mugs. Just peel off your transfer tape. And it's this sort of clear side that you need. Now you want to try and get no air bubbles in this if you can, so just start on one end, slowly move your fingers over where the design is. And then use your scraping tool and you want to scrape that as much as you can to try and get those bits of vinyl to stick to your transfer tape. It can take a little while to do this but then you can just test it by peeling the edge. If it doesn't come off then you haven't done it enough. And then work out where you want it and just delicately start to place again one little corner at a time and because it's rounded it's going to take a little bit of uh, trial and error and I'll do them separately pop that there there we have it there's our really simple but cute botanical leaf mugs. I think they're really really pretty because I like the fact they're just white and green and they're not too fussy. It was so easy to get the vinyl onto these as well and it just made it such an awesome little project and you don't even have to buy new mugs if you've got plain mugs in the cupboard that you want to upcycle then go for it guys. I think that's so cute. Next up we're going to do our little flag and for this I just wanted to do the slogan stay home and cuddle. I thought that would be really cute to hang in the living room or something like that. And we're going to need the green mat and the vinyl that I mentioned earlier and some scissors. So yeah let's get started with this one. So I just did a really simple text, stay at home and cuddle, and wielded all of the letters to make sure it was one layer, like so. Da -da -da -da. It's now the right size as well, so I can go ahead and prep the mats ready to cut. So when putting your vinyl on the mat, you need to make sure it's shiny side down. Okay, so your vinyl's on there like that. And you just want to select everyday iron on. Check the material and now it's ready to go. To take it off, make sure you peel it, the mat away from the vinyl and then repeat the process with the gold one and make sure you do it this shiny side down. Now we're just going to weed away the excess. Um, with this one, I started off by doing the inside of the letters first. And then the outside. It's a little bit fiddly again, but just have some patience with it. And the more you practice with weeding, the easier it gets. Once your vinyls are weeded and ready, I'm going to do it white side first and then gold on top. But first, I'm going to use my Easy Press 2, and we're just going to take any moisture out of the fabric by making it warm first. Don't have to set a timer for this, just do it for a few seconds. You can use an iron as well, but obviously I'm using my easy press, it just makes things a lot easier. And then we're gonna pop this where we want it. Great, and then pop that on top. Press your button, and that will count down 30 seconds, but you can check all of the temperature settings on the Cricut website. So as you can see, I've just laid that on top, so there's a little bit of a white shadow. And then same again, pop that on. Press your button and wait until the countdown stops. Okay, and then we can just carefully peel that away. And that's it, there you have it. It's so simple to make and it looks really, really cute. I can't wait to hang it in my living room.
And there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing how to create these four easy tutorials with the Cricut Joy today. I've had so much fun, I love this, I just cannot wait to hang it up downstairs, it's so cute. And obviously the little card, our mugs, and my little sewing plan notebook. So I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make these four things. I hope it gave you an insight into the different types of materials that the Joy can cut and the different varieties of things that you can make with Cricut. If you would like me to do any more videos on any of the materials or anything like that, then let me know in the comments. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, then make sure to subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.